Okay, hello. Um, yet again, we've we've encountered this situation where I'm just trying to do dailies. I log in, and I, I figured that they were gonna patch because like Sinclair and Corp Sinclair is pretty broken. I thought that that was the patch, but it was like two gigabytes. And I guess I should have like realized that there's gonna be like a cutscene or something. Anyways, um. I boot up the game, here we are. I just wanted to do dailies, but I'm just gonna like be quiet while this cutscene plays. Wait, 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 I just ha I have to check something. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess I could talk over this. There's no, like, dialogue. I guess for events, they don't have di Well... The chicken event had dialogue. This is fantastic. Well... experience this. This is a corridor, yes. It's a hallway. Is this where the, they all sleep?
What am I supposed to do? It's sleep time. I, I thought that they just slept on the- well, technically we are on the bus, right? <laughs> it's pretty funny. Today, Piori Bakso. Quality Nari Kesa Do Piori Boyo. I don't know what that was, but I liked it. I'm not sure why. Oh. Oh. I'm sad. Oh, 
Oh, I guess we should read the Dante's notes. But, um, I like that after we travel, we just like go to bed, you know? Oh, I, I did that already. Okay, let's read the notes. Um, oh my gosh. Sinners? Oh, this is a lot. Record one. Seems to- oh my gosh, hang on. Seems to be a term that refers to the 12 people on the LCB's bus with me. Based on conversations I heard, they appear to have joined the company similar to how I did. But they've been nicknamed like they're bound here somehow. I asked Ferg about the term. He did give me a clear answer. Him and his, you'll see in due time, he shut down every questions. Several questions with remarks like that. Looks like I have no other option. I've just got to write down what I learned. Adding a couple new discoveries about the sinners first. It looks like the sinner is specifically used to refer to those who formed a contract that I had no choice for opting out of with me. And it appears that they were the only people that I could bring back to life with my clock. Sinners might be ones who could resonate with the golden bows we seek. When we approach one, it seems to reveal the fathoms of the sinner's ego, making us experience their past or peer into their psyche. Small branch like objects that emit a glow. Doesn't really feel like tree branches. My head gets these tingling sensations when I get a close one. Whatever these are, they aren't your certainly aren't. They certainly aren't your ordinary gilded twigs that we are made to go after. Seems like retrieving golden boughs isn't the only job. I should probably learn how to pronounce this. I, I don't I don't know. I always thought it was boughs, you know, like boughs or maybe it could be bow. Bow? Bow? We're set to deal with any task. Is this the new one? Yeah, this is the new one. On the way to the company's objective that needs capabilities unique to me or the sinners. I'm starting to wonder how this company came to be and why it had to be me and the sinners to do all this, but Faust won't tell me. She says that the security level is too low for me to access that information, but she does seem to know something more. Why does a sinner know more about the company when I'm the executive manager? That's pretty funny. Ness, oh, hey, that's pretty cool that they added these terms. Seems to refer to urban centers in the cities. A nest, a city is divided into multiple sections. Each of them comprise of a nest and a back streets. Nest is basically the management and production of a conglomerate called a wing. While the back streets are too big of an influence, I think. Asperg if I came uh, from a nest or a back street, but he ignored me. I think that um, I have this theory that Dante used to be. Um, I, I just I just have a feeling that he used to be a fixer. I don't know why. Oh, it says what fixers are. So if he was a fixer, I would assume that he came from the back streets. I don't remember if there were like fixers that came from a wing because when you're like under a wing you're pretty much set for life unless that wing goes down like what will happen with um elcorp um when elcorp went down everyone that was in the wing um was subjugated to people uh from the back streets um syndicates which were like a bunch of gangs and like rival wings trying to take over the the area so i just have a theory that he was a fixer but we'll we'll know in time oh oh there's more hey corp oh kick corp located in districts 11 nest as i've inspired nightmare battle i love papa Nightmarish battle at the checkpoint, Kate Corp's singularity seems to give the usable user the capability to continuously heal or regenerate rather their body. Faust called it something, but it seems to be commonly referred to as HP bullets or ampules by regular denizens of the city. 
thanks to that all the sinners died and almost fainted bearing 12 people's worth of pain all at once but those hp ampules did a good and also helped restore my melted lower half to perfectly good health hey corpse used to be utilizing this technology for a number of industries uh according to sam joe an employee we met at uh i think this is the fried chicken place the wing might also be developing food related tech using the singularity oh l corp full name lobotomy corporation uh it's next was in district 12 a fallen wing its spot is currently vacant it was a problem Apparently the epicenter of a citywide event called the White Nights and Dark Days, which everyone seems to know except for me. Or would that be my amnesia? The facility we searched through where the Gurum Baos all once belonged to this now defunct L Corp. Huh. I didn't know that I was still, like, untaken. Well, hmm. Yeah. No. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Lobotomy Corporation came first, it blew up, then became L Corp. I think that's correct. And then L Corp, I think L Corp basically blew up because of this, the White Knight and Dark Days. Um, I didn't, I didn't play Lobotomy Corporation because it's like um, like a micromanage sim game. Maybe I'll, I might play it. Uh, I don't know, but my problem is that it, it doesn't have like voice acting. So, um, I think what made me really like Library and this game so much is that there's voice acting. So, if I were to play uh, Lobotomy Corporation, it'd be a little hard because, like, I, I wouldn't be really invested into the story. Well, I mean, like, I'm already invested in the story because I, I like Library and I like this game, of course, but uh, may maybe, I don't know. It seems like, uh, like, I don't know, it it's, a, I it's a management game. But this um, th this is like really important to the story. And court. Uh, nail and hammer. Uh, there's two factions under the names of nail and hammer. According to him, the armor-clad inquisitors were faced with nearly. Oh we faced weren't nearly as prevalent when he worked for the wing and they weren't the majority faction during his time there unlike the group led by kroner Cromer, and corp as a whole doesn't appear to be too different from other big corps outside some religiousness not sure what the main business is but some sinners seem to know a couple things about the wing if only they'd speak to me at all about it Yeah, I wonder what their like singularity is, you know? It seems like they their singularity has something to do with forcing a person to undergo ego corrosion. But uh, you know, I don't know, right? I think in the future we're going to continue encountering more Encorp. I'm not sure if Cromer is like unalive. Um she could come back. But, you know, the wings, companies with m the most advanced and influential technology in their districts, practically ruling over them, supposedly they're corporate entities, but the more I hear about the wings, the more they sound like governing bodies. Come to think of it, Limbus company doesn't seem to fit the conventional idea of a company either. We're on a bus <laughs> all the time for one. Each wing has a trademark technology called Singularities and uses the funds earned from them and ridiculous taxes to manage the high-class urban area inside the district known as a nest. People who work for wings seem to be nicknamed Feathers. 
that that is um correct um if i remember um at the center of a city there's um district one two and three they basically rule over the entire city um i believe they're the the eye the claw and so something else um but they're like the the corpo that manages all these other corpos um but what each wing does they they like tax like everybody from the back streets um like a lot and if you can't pay your taxes and they're like get you um so people on the back streets usually just live this life of like acceptance like oh yeah we can't really fight it um i just want to live my life and eat like hamburgers syndicate oh i talked about syndicates the association seems to refer to a large organization that manages fixers each association appears to have a specific field it specializes in to account how free and open a fixer's line of work can usually be. There's a pretty wide variety. I've seen a few associations through the Id identities of sinners and their mirror worlds. One major difference from freelance fixers is that they can't choose the jobs that they want to take. Yeah. Um, I guess after this, I'll go over some of the associations. They're basically like in like fantasy. Um, associations are like tiny guilds or no they're like the party within a guild so like you know you have like fantasy party one and two um and they're underneath like the adventuring guild or, or something like that that's what the associations are um some associations are specialized in like um assassinations or like maybe some of them specialize in like espionage um i believe there was an incident where an association was um trying to uncover the secrets behind a um uh, another another uh corp singularity and like they got caught and like they uh they got taken away so and i'm pretty sure like the regular people of the back streets could just go to like um like uh, like a, a guild like an association and just like hey um i have this problem can you take care of it like my cat's stuck in a tree please please fix it uh, the back streets, areas of the district not included in the nest. These are generally like um, your slum areas. Um, for the most part, they're like grimy, um, pretty gross, a lot of like, a lot of poverty. <laughs> um, the residents are mostly people. Yeah, yeah. The, the residents are just like regular people who can't afford to live in a nest. Each area is stacked with restaurants, local businesses, living quarters, schools, acad uh, academies, and other facilities. As the name suggests, through the roads tend to be twisted and intertwined. There's a constant dampness wherever you go. Fun thing I've noticed is that the boundaries between the back sheets and the nest were clearly drawn in every district i visited though i've only been to like three of them yeah there's a clear um distinction between the back street and a nest um some people become fixers just so they could attempt to go into a nest i think i missed something here oh oh okay here it it does go over the association okay she association the oh look this is what i talk about <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. I really like, um, library. I guess this is just gonna be me reading. I'm sorry. I don't really read that well. I'm, uh, how you say. Not a good reader. So, the She Association seems to specialize in assassination requests. 
Um, note that it doesn't actually mean that they're the only fixtures who do assassination jobs. To start requesting asso associate fixture is going to cost a filtration. Plus, demand for assassination is awfully high in the city, so even unknown offices on obscure streets seem to get those requests pretty often. Um, the she association, she association, they're like um, they're overworked because if you want to go for like a high quality association, um, like a primo one, it, it's gonna cost like a lot. So they usually go with these guys, and because of the amount of work that they do, uh, they're just over always overworked and always uh, tired. Um, the identities uh, that do have. Uh, the Shia Association, they have passives that trigger when the um, the center is low health, um, and that reflects the idea that when they're low health, they like that's their natural state, you know. So they start beating up more. I don't know <laughs> when when you encounter them in library. Um, I think they have a passive where they start off damaged. <laughs> But when you get to like 25% health, I think they get like a plus plus one or maybe plus two to your dice roll. So um, when you use them, you you kind of have to be on like the verge of death. Back oh, we talked about the back streets already. Back streets? Yeah, we talked about the back streets. Blade lineage, a syndicate of sword wielding ruffians and li liber libertines? Libertines? Rubbing the back streets, guessing from conversations with sinners who wore such identities, they don't seem to act or move in groups much despite belonging to Ensengit. To be more precise, they do have temporary company from time to time, but there's no strict subgroups or pecking order. It's unfortunate that half of their answers were taking the piss, so I'm unable to write proper answers here. Um, I... I don't know how to add to this. Um, I can't remember if Blade Lineage was in, in library. Um, I do remember that there were like, like, like Yakuza type um, syndicates that just like roam around and basically, if you don't give them what you what they want, they'll like cut off your finger. The Kurokumo clan, a giant syndicate spread deep and wide across the back streets. They seem to be characterized by long, single-edged swords with sheets and dark wavy clothes. They basically earn their keep by taking Oh, like this. Yeah, this is like one of the syndicates I'm thinking of with swords. Earn their keep by taking protection fees from backstreet businesses under the pretext of offering them safety. From what I gather from the identities, they would be some kind of conflict with another syndicate called the Blade Lineage. I don't get to hear the reason, they follow some sort of hierarchy. Henchmen are generally forbidden from disobeying their superiors. There do seem to be special exceptions if Hong Lu is to be believed. The city's technology I identities. Oh. From turning rudimentary cogs to overlaying an Austin identity via a mirror, the city has every level of technology identities. Oh. oh. An invention that overlays a person's identity with different possible with a different possibility from numerous other worlds. I heard Yi Sang was one of the developers, but he always blabbers things I can't wrap my head around. Uh, whenever I ask, so I don't expect to get any useful down to earth information from him. Identities themselves are found via the engine of the bus. Not sure how this works, but it looks like you can't just find and grab the identities you want. Challenge. Oh, they explained the gotcha system. <laughs> it's very nice. Trial and error can be. and sometimes stumble upon previously unseen versions of Sinners too. Although I can't write how exactly those identities are used in full, it feels like attempting to makes me unsure somehow. Synchronizing the extracted identity with my LCB PDA and the bus window allowed me to communicate with it or feel it in some way. 
calling for the image of the identity in mind, I get a sense of understanding as if I'm talking to the sinner, like usual. Oh, okay, I see. I know what this is. And once the sinner uh, and I make an unspoken agreement, the identity overrides the sinner, accompanied by the sound of glass shattering. And think of... Oh, so this this is really just explaining the gotcha system. That's very... I like that. I like this. While overlaid, the sinner appears di pretty different from usual. On top of attires and weapons, their personalities can also change pretty wildly and sometimes make me question if they're the really sinner if they're really the sinners I know. Fortunately they seem to go back to their own original selves when they're done using identity, but prolonged use might cause some small side effects like residual traces of the identity personally surfacing from time to time. Okay. Sort of freelancers, um fixers are basically kinda of like the mercenaries um of this world? The city? <laughs> they don't work for free, of course. The whole city seems to be based around money, but I don't think I can say that for sure since uh, absolutely no fixers willing to do charity work, I guess. The ones I've seen and heard uh, about were from all foreign walks of life, too. Uh, too diverse for me to neatly summarize. If talking with mirrored identities counts too, maybe it's a common career. Um, for the most part, people that um, grew up in a back street will either like take up their their family's business or or um, become a fixer. Um, so it's it's kind of common, um, but like as a freelance fixer, it's really hard for um, them to start out. Um, I think for the most part, when you start off as a fixer, you get like really gross grunt work. Um, and then over time, um, you get better and better jobs. But when you get better jobs, they make you do more... more um, life-threatening things i guess apparently you can't just become a fixer because you want to some fixer related identities told me that they're tests you need to pass to earn a license yeah that's true looks like fixers are graded with the number nine being the lowest and one being the highest and there's also a special grade called being a color Berg appears to be one he has the moniker of the red gaze he's supposedly pretty skilled and famous yes um once you reach a rank one fixer, um, you'll get noticed by and I can't I want to say they're called oh they they're called the head, right? So in the middle of the city, there's like three districts. I'm I'm 25 sure. Uh, the three districts is the no I feel like that's wrong. I'm too lazy to look it up. Um, so anyways anyways once you get to a rank one. Um, and you do something like spectacular, um, you'll get noticed by uh, the head of the city and they will assign you a color. Um, but every color has their own um, weapon per se. So I don't know what Verge's like weapon is. I'm pretty sure you get a special weapon when you become a color. And I guess that's all the notes for now. Um, oh. So, like, how he said that, like, <laughs> he gets the, the, the identities and he looks at them from the window. This is the window. Um, I guess I could like I could change it. I could change it to whatever I want to. But I like her. The only problem with her like base um is like she yells at me. I want these two. 
I know they're unreleased. They have to be coming soon. Stop, 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 stop. I think my, my favorite um, Corpo in the city is, is W Corp. I, for some reason, I really like the charge mechanic. Um, so I like W Corp. I like, I really like, um, oh, I really like the, like these guys too, that work for the, um, R Corp because they, they have charge. I just like the charge mechanic, except her, like, I mean, she's like so weird because like she could prank you with this. Um, and sometimes I, I miscalculate how much charge she has so like then she just pranks my teammate and then she like unlives them but i guess that's it um thank you for being here I, there not much happened um if the roadmap is to be believed there should be an event coming soon so look out for that i guess um, I'll see you later. Bye.